Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Got our guys out here in the rowboats, doing some fishing. Crossing the bridge, that is a nice looking bridge. Just looking at the, the details, the piers underneath. Yep. Um, we had a successful experiment here. She was able to access the central markets at this point. So we know this area, well, we know that, that spot is viable. I'm assuming the whole area is, but that might be a, a, a poor assumption. I did set up this one over here and we haven't had any, oh, there we go. So we can at least employ somebody all the way over here. That's good to know. Got three ships leaving. We are picking away the last of our limestone, which we're not going to be able to use. Though, at the very least, we can get access to the land again. So let's go ahead and get it picked away. Um, I set another one over here. Alright. And one over here. So, we'll, we'll test all of these. And the only other experiment I can think of is, you know, assuming that this one, when she finally gets to work decides to go and get some peas. Did I not set them? I did, yeah. Then we could maybe this October, I guess we even could right now, once these are built, we could set something specific to this one. You know, all of the onions to that one or something. Where is everything right now? Uh, here. So all of the horseradish or, or something. We, we'll pick something in October that there'll be a lot of. And have it be pulled entirely to this one. And then see if that person over there can then stock this item to their, their stall over there, their market stall. And if they can, then I think the market... the, the the granary system probably still functions at a very large distance. In which case, you know, if that experiment works, then I think we're safe to say that these markets could grab from a granary out in the middle of that island. In which case, we'll go ahead and move everything over. Well, long term, we will move everything over to the center right here. As far as storing all of our supplies and then distributing outward through the market stall system. I just wanted to verify that worked before I started, you know, before I, I wanted to know if there was a barrier coming up, you know, a, a limitation that I had not foreseen that was actually going to stifle building out in that plain or, or that hillside or, or what have you, you know, can we still get the milk from this dairy over there or something like that. Anyway, started playing around with the gazebo and chapel area stuck a well into the middle that seemed to be a nice centerpiece got some benches around it i see you almost look like you're walking around with a hoe who are you you are a forester you're planting trees very good put some bird houses in and yep yeah, it's that's actually shaping up to look like a nice little area so that's good and coming down our our main uh, main road here into this community and school chapel market and housing i think that looks pretty darn good now we've got this what was going to be a main road but actually it isn't That's, wow i didn't realize just how bad the road was right there <laughs> yep that ends that one the main road over here is actually right there we we kick over and go this way and and I'm sure they're still working on taking down, well, some things. Let's see. Yeah, these two are still here. We're st these logs are still here. Okay. So we're still taking those down. Any other benches or birdhouses or whatever I have placed over these trees around here? I don't think so. So that's still happening. Okay, so we are in June and hey i'm recording and let's see june july august so july we're going to see the orchards higher 
you will not be for a while and you do not need to be here so let's manually take you out you won't be here needed for another couple of years okay so that did get planted and I never did get rid of that that uh, position that's what's wrong there um, back over here did you finally get to work and if so did you go to get peas you're on your way to get peas okay well that's what I needed to know um, you can go away actually so in that case you are none and you need to really make empty and you are buying food so eventually you'll get back you move the hunter back to somewhere and then I'll delete this this one works for certain now that this one works too and I think we could almost conclude that there is no distance issue between market stalls and granaries so a lot of this happened because I noticed that you know they they interact with each other until a certain distance then they they no longer re, you know, act like they they know that each other exists and raspberries and I wanted to verify that there wasn't more to that than I had assumed we've got these guys going in and you're gonna be done by October good and hopefully the other two will as well in fact, let's move the stone well back let's just get all three of these granaries going they can all grab goods this October from from all of our all of our citizens um, so June July we've got the orchards going on otherwise kick the speed up there are no trades that we're in the middle of you guys are off to go chop a tree no, you live there. Where are you going? Do you know? Okay. Oh, it doesn't draw on a bridge. Interesting. You are... Really? So you guys are actually getting something done now. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I can play with that a little bit. We are... July. You'll be working in July as well. Yeah, we'll let you have these two months available and see what you uh, see what you come up with. 16 logs. Will you continue even after the 18? That's what I'm curious about. Bell post is completed, meaning we can. This tree is now gone. So delete you. All right. So money issue in and out. I've seen this popping once in a while, and it's happening a lot since the barber surgeon and the tavern are up and running so people are i believe i'm guessing paying well these guys have 40 some dollars in the bank these guys have got 450 dollars in the bank so a lot of folks are getting their health up and they're bankrupting their homes i believe to do just that now that's I'm seeing green so there's three people and there's three that just came in and out so these are the folks that live here and you are what not looking for a job 16 you're her brother younger brother that must be what that is okay so can I see any kind of a history propose relocation financial help settled six months ago an impressive family income so let's see what's happening over here treasury and expenses of 21 income of 19 the two taxes right here tavern tax five I assume that's five per month not a percentage but a, a but a actual quantity of money so we'll say five gold per month coming in the surgery could probably handle a lot more like well I don't know 20 a month let's let me look at that again there was one more tidbit previous month's incomes is 20 gold when I checked in between episodes the previous month was 10 gold so it must have been from okay from June meaning May so 20 coming in a month 10 to 20 coming in 
Must have been a lot more coming in. I can't see a history. Did they all rush that place all at once? And everyone coughed up, I don't know, five gold for a doctor visit or something. And now that the, the big rush is done, everybody who had a, a partial health bar is now maxed out again. And now, no, you know, it'll just be a, a maintenance. It's hard to... I don't know if I'm going to be able to find anybody to use as, as an example. You're waiting for a person to do the orchard. Um, so... The wealth tax... Okay, from what you guys know about this, wealth tax will hit, I assume, everybody. So I assume that the barber surgery is paying five per month. Plus, because they're over a hundred, they're paying another five per month. Which means the wealth tax is eventually going to chip away at them and bring them back down from that four hundred and some per month. Otherwise, they're I'm getting I don't I don't know how much they arrived with. That's that's the whole problem with this, and I don't know how to see any kind of a well, these are by year. And that's just the tax we've charged them. So it doesn't have anything to do with what they've actually earned. Okay. That 450, I'm suspecting, is artificial. I'm suspecting that was a whole bunch of citizens with partial healths that all visited them in those first couple of months. And now that wave is done. And now we're just going to be maintaining at 10 to 20 a month. That's my guess. In which case, this probably is... A decent number I don't need to push it up to grab more of that for something because that's going to eventually be chipped away right here and will probably not be replaced that's how I'm reading this so I'm gonna leave it as is and just see how that goes okay so into July we've got something happening over here you can go away you Definitely have your, your thing there. And do I want to keep you employed or should I be thankful that you employed at all in order to experiment more with you later? I say no longer employed, but we'll leave it here, including the peas. They don't rot. You did employ and you're getting your peas. <laughs> Let's make empty, though I don't know. We'll see if that works. And you employed and you've got your peas. Okay. So we can market out here. And the markets can grab from the, the, uh, the, the, the granaries. So we do have the limitation that houses have to be within a certain distance of a market. But not that the market has to be a certain distance from a granary. So that helps out a lot. You're over here. You guys... Let's just transfer, transfer, um, these have never been touched, so we're going to say these are good. Apply to all, and apply to all. Alright, so those are good. These could go away. Um, I was advised to, let's see what's going on here. To, yeah, to keep the booze stored near the tavern. The suggestion was a small granary, but that there is not a large amount of storage as compared to a place like a granary, which has a a huge storage bar. This is treated more like a house, so we don't see a lot of storage. So 46 and 64. So this would be a good place to store the all the, the various booze. So beer and let's see there was an m and there was an h there you are okay and so it says we have 3320 hmm okay well um 4000 here 4000 4000 those are all going to be there now. And so we can get rid of those here. 
Yeah, and that'll get transferred over. And do you have an employee? You aren't needed anymore. So let's... One is more than enough to maintain that. You, one will do the same thing. Maintain those. Okay. So we put the four in here just to get this transferred over and never to get back to it. You can actually go away now. Though I was waiting on doing that until these got built. Just in case... Although these to that house are about... Yeah, they may be a little closer. I'll wait just a little bit yet. We'll get these two built. Then we'll take these out. We'll leave this one. And figure out what else could be built in this area. Okay. Um, where are we now? July. Don't really have any serious goals right now. Just kind of... I'm as, almost as much of a spectator as you guys are. Just sitting back and watching them build their own city. Watching them build their town. Okay, you are... Pause. No workers to take care of animals. Okay, that is a surprise. There. And here. We're into July, which means normally a lot of folks would have... Yeah. Would have dropped out. Uh, ladies in order to handle the orchards which means there's even more available in here though at the moment they may all be taking a break looking for a job three ladies okay so that got hired that got, that got hired so we need one there one there and there's at least two booths over here that should be vacant uh you two no you two and yes they're vacant Okay, so that's a July thing. And at one point I had dropped these out for July, but I stopped doing that. Uh, you don't have enough hemp or flax anyway. So let's go back to doing that. July, uh, go back. Right there is a zero now. And that probably works good because, you know, we've harvested and we're going to be running out before we ever get to this point. Maybe that's a June thing as well. You are, once again, weavers, and you need these too. So it only lasts as long as we grow them. Okay, and we had a whole bunch at one point. So let's take you down to only two people starting up again in October. All right, that works there. So that's now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ladies available in the economy. Okay, uh, bell post is done. Delete you. I catch those every time they pop up. We're starting to get a real road out here now. Look at that. That was just a hot mess before. And where did you land? Right over there. You're gone. So little by little, another one's going to come out over here. Back There it is. But we got to haul two of them away. Is there one over here? And I think that's fine. So come on over here. These are going to go away to become an orchard. And that's an orchard. Okay, so that's working. You're going away. And Balaklia is coming in. So slow you down and think about things. Balaklia buys salt? What do they buy? They do not. They, they buy flour. And we're... Looks like that would work fine for us. So 600 of you. Deal. And let's grab that trader and make that happen. Six hundred and temporary stock that one. Potatoes, none. Okay, dried fish. Let's try to maintain a thousand dried fish for the town. So it's going to take a couple of years to finally get ahead of that. Don't think we need to maintain a thousand oil though. Let's maintain five hundred or so. Let's go seven hundred oil. Sell you deal sunflower oil 700 and let's see here clothes we're finally starting to get some clothes built up good uh, sallow textile leather metal parts horse honey 2000 honey now okay 
Well, let's sell 1,000 of it. Deal. And bring 1,000 honey in here. And temporary stock that one. Okay. So, is nobody at work? Yeah. I was wondering why these didn't all pop and you know, immediately start filling up. Blacklia is actually pretty close to us. They're going to be here before long. Yeah, you are done. You go away. You are done. You go away. So we only have one test left, and that's clear over here, and that's far enough to do anything we need on the map. This is right in there. So if we can get from here to there, we should be able to get from there to whatever's happening out over here or over there. I think we're okay if we can make that work. Okay. So, Black Leo, do we need to buy anything from you? Iron, 600 and something. Let's wait. Uh, money again. You've got the honey. You'll be selling that in September. Otherwise, you've got five coming in. And... Hmm. 158 going out. So the problem is you're buying foods. With 4,200, I'm almost kicking around the idea of giving everybody just a little bit higher wage. Let's take another look at that. Treasury, laborers wages, basic monthly wages. What if we kick the basic monthly wages up a bit? Although a lot of people are are living hand to mouth depending on laborer jobs popping in here and there. So they really need it too. That's probably the weak link right there. We'll do both. Give them all a little boost and then not change the taxes and see if some of these houses that pop here and there start to gradually grow again. So I don't know at what point they will actually leave. I would imagine it's not a money thing, it's when they run out of food sort of thing. Plenty of honey, which they can't sell because they need 500 food, if I've got this right, before it will initiate the ability to sell it. So until they have a year's worth of food, they will not be selling to our granary. If I got that right, sounds logical. So I'm going with that. Um, I never finished here. Iron, horse, sheep, sheep. What have I got left? 12 more days. Um, we are employed. Accidentally, I left you in there. I did get rid of one of you. This is not on seasonal hiring and let's go ahead and get a small amount of sheep I don't have the tannery or or anything in order to deal with it or the you know the wool or all that so we'll just start gradually growing a small group of sheep um, flowers on its way on its way on its way okay carts don't see anybody rolling through yet so we're okay there World map, they're on their way though. Sheep. Yeah. Rams and sheep. One ram and five sheep at this point. And we'll let that slowly grow. And that is 210. We're going to be fine. Deal. Okay. So that is happening. We need to get these guys done, speed it back up again, get the well in just to finish that little uh, that little area right there, and then cart shed, no, thatchery, okay, just to, just to get that going before we start building the houses through here, which all need thatch. 
Bell post is done, so delete you. And no more, one more bell post left, right there. And then we're done with those and we'll get back to working on, actually you're gonna work on this next. Let's work on this next. There's only six trees left in there. Let's move that over. Okay. Fish, how are we doing? We have salt, 270 dried, 81, which, so 90 something. We're gonna pop into another batch here real soon. Bell post is done and we're done with that. And let's just make this go away before it grows. Okay. Small granaries done over here. Great. And July, August. August is about to hit. Which means this one is not going to get finished for some time. Yeah. Because everyone's going to go away. Let's not make everyone go away this time. Let's make... Let's take it down to three. That should be enough to get this done still in August. Okay. Then we can pull these guys, uh, those buildings out of there. All right. So we are done with that trade. Yeah. Um, speed two. We're looking at fish. 277. As soon as the next person comes to work, they should start another batch. Did that happen over here? It did not going to work you're just arriving so you're gonna do a batch you are fishing 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 so I wonder what determines oh we had dropped oh I think I guess somebody did start another batch right there okay okay and used up the majority of that so next person and interesting I guess all the fish went to a market didn't get dried Okay. Yep, that's fine. We're in August. Folks are laid off. You are wheat and you are barley. Boy, they look very similar. Yep, almost like the same graphic. Have to be. They probably do look quite similar when they're ready to harvest. Okay, you have hit again. A little bit more monthly income now. And... Chicken Coop Warehouse. You guys are not seasonal. You guys are childless born. Um, so you that is your constant income and will be until you hit 15. And then you'll be able to help out too. Okay. We'll see how that goes. We'll see long term what that does. Okay. So you guys are starting here. And we're starting over here. We've got five workers that have made it that far. And... About twice as many over here. Okay. Plus, at the beginning, we've got... Taking a rest and taking a rest. Never mind. <laughs> but, yeah, it'll happen. There's only two fields this year over there. And by the time we get to next year, we'll have more people living in the, uh, in the area. All right. So, what is next while well, that is all happening I could lay out now I need to take this one down and then I want to lay out just like the houses we put in over here I want to do the same thing right here big long lots that gradually work their way in I guess follow that line we're not going to do anything on the shore over here because that's going to take whatever industry that is that much closer to houses so we're going to keep industry off to the side so we could set some industry now that we've thinned out all those bell posts let's set the smeltery in here and i think that looks pretty good just looking at the pathway should it head right up that path in front of the charcoal pits i think so so you're going to go there and maybe set a couple more of those. We don't have to build them immediately, but just to get their foot put, footprint claimed. I wish I could get into here. I probably could had I not put this here. It looks like that's what's interfering. Let me see here again. <clears throat> nope, just uneven terrain. I mean, yeah, it's occupied, but still uneven terrain.
That is the only spot all the way through. We can get over here. Except that those houses are all in the in the wrong spot, but I don't want the uh, the industry over there. Over here looks funny the way that it it works against that bridge. A little further away, it starts to thin you know, to even out. So we could do that. In which case, I'd probably want to start over here as far as I can. And just as it rotates around that corner. Probably right in there. Right there. And if we did one more. Now I'm not sure how the the stone jetty out there works. Can you have multiples next to each other? What do we know about them? Produces iron by heating iron ore in a furnace. Constructed in a form of a water mill. So the water rushes through. Let me see that graphic again. Okay, the water, you can, I can't move my mouse. I guess right there, there's the water wheel right where my pointer is. So all the water of the river rushes through that water wheel instead of past the stone jetty. So that then replaces the water on the other side, which then could flow through the next one too. So there should be no problem with putting two in a row. So starting the turn, yeah, if we could have just had that bridge a little further that way, then I could have gotten rotated. Now I can't rotate with T or R or F. Okay, I can rotate 90 degrees F. That doesn't help. Okay. Um, hmm. I think in that case, as close to this building as possible to get away from the bridge. Right there. Okay. So there's three smelteries. Last noise was a small granary. So you guys are done. So slowing down. Let's. Granaries are employed this time of year. They are. So from you, let's transfer, apply to all, and apply to all. So you're in there. You need to make empty. And you need to make empty. Okay. Turn all of these off. And demolish. Turn all of these off. And then you... Now there are no more small granaries in the area. Except for all the way down there. So you, I should be able to say, grab everything that you can, f that you can find. And that's where it ends at this point. Buy them all. Okay. And so all of our settings have been transferred through. Okay. So soon this one will go away. Just debating on when to do that. It's not truly necessary. It'd be nice to get those building materials back. And just to get the appearance, you know, the confusion out of here. Why, are they, why have you got them there and there and there? You know, for someone that might just pop into this episode or next episode and not having watched the series and know the, the logic behind everything. Okay, yeah, so we'll move. Where did you go? Right there. Let's move you up. So you're going to go there. This one should empty soon enough. You're taking a rest when you come back. You'll be emptying it. Okay, so we've got everything done here and just bringing things in. Over here, we've got one field done, one well started, and we have to the end of the month to have extra helpers. Now, extra helpers here. We still have three. So a lot of folks have gone home. They're resting, and then they're going to come back out again. And those that have honey, I take it, are starting to sell off their, their honeys. 
So you're over here. Oh, we never set these. Grab all of that. Oh, we did. We set that one. Okay. So you're buying apples like crazy. And you are going to now buy these. Oh, there we go. And I did get these. I did. So let's make sure all these are actually correct. We are buying... Let's grab anything extra. There we go. Grab all of those. We may have missed the the orchard window one more time like that very first year kind of looks that way don't know if there are fruits well we did get them into the markets okay we did it did happen they're already rotting they're almost gone it's just it's just for show <laughs> yeah the timer is way too fast on those two fruits yeah maybe another update soon we'll we'll readjust that um <clears throat> You're emptying. Someone just walked in. You are to take from other granaries. Correct. Which means you're going to be grabbing lots of apples. Apples are one of the things that we're going to have a lot of and should be selling them. If we can get somebody to drop into here just in time to buy them. So... What is sitting in here that needs to leave? Did these trades happen? Now I can see when the carts come through. Nice. Uh, world map. Right there. Balaklia. No active deals. Okay. So all the trades are done. I hope that they were successful. You're still sitting on some sunflower oil and some honey. So it tells me they were not successful. Um, here, honey, yeah, there should have been, I think that was supposed to be a hundred. Hmm, I think these didn't quite all get in place before that cart came and left. I think that's what's going on. That's why there's still some sitting here. Okay, um, and they're going to continue to sit here until they sell. That must be what that means. So we are at 220 right now. Still haven't built a house. Though we did get this family in and this family in. So I guess they weren't all from babies last time. Um, September. So the only thing we're really waiting for is what's going to happen here. So I can go ahead and speed this back up again. And we have lots of folks in here. Look at all that. So they're going to uh, Dirkachi. Dirkachi means charcoal. <laughs> um, anyway, they're going to be getting that cleared out. Charcoal. Let's go over here first. Oops. What is in stock? 12,000. Let's do the Dirkachi and... Slow down a minute. Where are you? Charcoal. There you are. That graphic still feels like it should be blacker than that. I see that and I don't think charcoal. So let's... For simplicity's sake. No, no, no. There. So the, the amount that we already have. Deal. And as soon as they start to arrive, if there's time, I could initiate another thousand or so we'll see how this number grows over time where to go right there so the 667 still interested in okay chicken eggs nope sunflower oil um we could certainly do the 140 there are definitely no more carts arriving from Balaklia. nope So it's not like we're waiting for just the last little bit of that sale to complete. So I think we're fine. So 140 to Dirkachi right there. And deal. Okay. And we were sitting on 100 honey still sitting here. Okay. Do you guys buy honey? You do. So we'll sell 100 to you then. Deal. Okay, so clothes, no. Apples, yes. There we go. Let's sell 
Are we done? I think we're done. So we have 22. I don't know that there's any more yet to be gathered in. So we they do last for a while and we want to keep them to sell them to our own folks too. So let's sell 1500. Let's save the 700. So deal. And let's bring in apples 1500. There we go. And there's 600 on their way, just like that. Uh, Dracachi, you will also buy what? Shoes? Haven't looked at that for a while. 4,500 shoes. Wow. 3314 deal. Shoes. 3314. Temporary stock. All right. Now, Balaklia <clears throat> was very close to us, which is why some of those things didn't make it. Dirkachi is, I'd say, almost twice as far. Yep, close to it. So that should give us more than enough time to make all of these runs. Um, going to work is probably the first one that's going to grab shoes. Going to make a guess as soon as he gets there, shoes should pop into the list. Grabbing a cart. There they are. Man, you're grabbing just 200. Where'd you go? You're grabbing a cart, which is why I want to get the carts in soon, right there. Get this guy going. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah, because that was kind of the carts for this place. You know, I think we need another cart shed. Maybe right here is a good place for one. Let's think seriously about that. I kind of forgot it was here just for these guys. So this one's over here. Another one. That's going to be close. But there are still random uses for carts. Yeah, let's do one more. So you and orientation wise, let's grab this, then drop out of it and grab a cart parking. That should give us the right alignment. Now we can direct traffic with this. We could do something like that. This is a main road though. So that answer is no. Now, entrance is right there. We could do that. Remove two trees. And that will kick the road further back along the the uh, the back of the, the, the field there. Yeah, let's do that. That's a, a corner of that road and this road. That works. So you need to get done fairly soon, too. So you're actually going to be the next... Hey, the orchard's cleared. Great. So you'll be the next uh, tree area. Though it might be helpful to have you sooner. We'll put you in there. This warehouse is for storing the wool. That means, yeah, this did happen. And we're set to use a fallow field. We do have one, but I don't see any sheep out there. So maybe they don't use the fallow field the very first time. Because we have six in here. Too bad you can't see them walking around inside. But no, they're not in here. They're not just so tiny I don't see them, right? <laughs> and they're not over here. Okay, so they'll probably pop out as soon as maybe October hits. We'll see. Or maybe when the last of this comes in. I've seen them come out in the fall before. When we first started up a farm system. where well, the cows did. Alright, so you now can be demolished as well. And you go with that one. Alright, so speed things back up. Did I ever fully exhaust this? Okay, we're done with that. I'm going to pause a second. I've got, well, I've got eight days left. Let it run. Don't need to buy any of these leather. I haven't checked leather for a long time. Where are we with leather? There is no leather in the list. Interesting. It's probably time to do a major restocking, huh? There's 800 sitting there. 
and there's 500 sitting there. Okay. So we've got leather in the buildings that we need it, but there's no more left in town. Okay. And leather here is not a thing. So let's bring in leather is 25. Let's bring in 1,000. Another 250. We're still holding that 42 mark, though. And lots coming in. 600 in charcoal alone. Okay. So 1,000 leather, sure. Get you coming in. And I have to wait for... Oh, I have to wait for the very first one to finish. Maybe best not to have done charcoal first, because that's 12 carts coming in. Before I could say, yeah, let's sell a little more before the seven days runs out. Doesn't time out well. It does not. Okay. We are still... haven't even arrived yet. There's definitely more than seven days worth there. Okay. So that's not going to happen. We're done with that. Anything else to buy then? Metal parts, iron, pig, cow, horse, flour, sallow. Sallow, let's do you. Let's do 500 of you. And deal. Okay. So we are done with that trade then. And there was a noise. Stone well is done. Small granary. And more babies. Over here, there's our stone well. And... Anything else to add to this? I was going to say bushes around the stone well, but let's leave a nice little walkway to all these benches. I'm definitely getting some food tra uh, foot traffic in there. Too bad there isn't a, a chance of a pathway going up into there soon. We do have a bench. In fact, this one does have seating inside, whereas this one doesn't. It's just empty in there, isn't it? Oh, look at that! There are benches around the perimeter, and they're using them. Okay. That's the first time I've seen somebody in there. Cool. They are functioning buildings. Well, that's nice to see. Okay. So, in that case, that's all done. And we're into September. We should be buying honey. And so I was going to go through and make sure all these are populated get cabbage into there next anything else that got missed so there's honey over here and over here anything else to add I keep forgetting to get there in time to add the uh, I guess we did get all the fruits into this one okay and everything is triggered as far as yeah gold checked all right so you guys are done and confirming you guys are definitely done everything is checked okay over here, everything's checked. One more time, everything's checked. So that's three collection points now. There, for this area. Here, for, I presume, kind of like in this area, this these guys would probably hit most of it. I don't know that these reach over here. Let's get into the middle of October and do some counting. See if we get more than 400 goods stocked up in here from what they gather out of their garden. So if there's more than 400, then we'll know that they're not able to reach a granary to sell it all off. In which case, I guess another couplet of granaries right in here somewhere is, you know, a or even further down here so that they could also grab whatever happens in this area maybe we'll see this one being at an end is kind of unfortunate but it does allow us to maybe get a few more houses out in this area later okay and until october i can't really do anything with that so speed things up again we are tearing these down clearing that out and that's right i was going to check this i just saw the cows how do you know how old they are? You get people telling me that, well, mine lived until 11 years old. Drop and drag. Click. Plow. Oh, there they are. Eight and eight. Okay. Eight and eight. Okay. So, over here. Nine and eight. Okay. There's the years. So, over here should be even younger. 
See, I usually when I click on them, I get the farm. And so I'm thinking, okay, there's no info. But it could have click a second time. Seven and five. Yeah, you do have to click a second time. There it is. Five and five. All right. So we're good for a while. And how are we over here? Two batches going. One is building. So we need another hundred for, for hides for that one. Okay. You have the hundred in here reserved. Is that the same hundred? Nope, 100 plus 100 more. Then that's going to go. Okay, so that's working. And we did get this one re-employed, right? We do, and we're good. Okay, so 30 and 30. And got chicken and, and eggs going there. Things are going well. They really are. Sheep, did you pop outside? Did not. And we've still got to collect things. We still have plenty of room available, though no one is available to do the work. So if we're going to add more houses, this does feel like the place to do it. But I wanted to get rid of this before I did that. Put that over here and then start thinking about probably the Burbage plots through here. We'll see. See how that goes. Though it'd be nice to establish wherever this road is going to be and work that around whatever we're going to do here. Which would probably be them coming between the fields and then taking off and doing something different. Boy, there's a lot of trees to take down if I want to put those plots in here. That's where, it, to me, they should be. With all this traffic coming along the front of it, all the way through here. That would look good, but that's, that's 500 trees. Yeah. <laughs> click, click, click. Nope. There's no small granary left in order to go to it. Aha. Uh -huh. So you're all coming down. We are fully employed again. No, we're not. Oh, we did that to try to satisfy last time. Okay, put you back up and running again. What was the other one that I vacated when I did that? That was over here. Yeah, you guys just work on chopping logs. I think we'll be fine there. Um, so you burning complete and we're going to eat through this and we're not going to restock it. So you're done. You are going to have 10,000 limestone and we're putting some over here. And we're done. Limestone is finished. Okay, so we still have the ability to get stone. And that's probably... Oh, but we're shut down for this month. Okay, that's fine too. Alright, so you guys are going to get stone. We've got f roughly 5,000 there. We've got 200 there. Room for 10,000. And that will slowly over a long period of time happen until all of the stone reserves are gone. We got some stone in there, but these are all limited too. Thousand, thousand, so twelve hundred, roughly ten to twelve hundred per pile. And then they're gone. Oh, wait a minute, we continue all the way down here. So stone goes on for a while. And I don't think I've ever missed anything. I don't think there's any other lime deposits hiding somewhere that I've never noticed. Okay. Panutine. <laughs> yeah, anyway, you guys buy apples and carrots. Okay. So apples still have the 700. We'll keep them. Carrots, none. Onions, 300. We'll keep them. Sallow, beer, lime, warm clothes, 500. We'll keep them. Clothes, 200, we'll keep those. Flour, yeah, well, we just harvested a bunch of wheat. Okay, just because I love to have some excuse to have the ships sailing in. Let's sell 300 to you, deal. And where am I? Right there, 300 flour coming in. 
300. Okay, what else? Sunflower oil. We could do... Yeah, export stock is gone. So let's do... And we just did another crop of sunflowers. Okay. Let's do 800. Deal. Where are you? Right there. 800. Alright, so that is selling. Buying salt. I can't sell. Okay. Buying iron, honey, mead. I think we're fine there. Okay. So these two are on their way in. 380 and 173. So they're fine. Um, where am I? I always, nowadays, you know, unlike when I was sick and and time didn't have much meaning, now it seems like every time I look over, there's about 55 minutes left. Yeah. Who votes for three-hour episodes? <laughs> okay. Um, what else needs to be done? We're Okay, pause. We're in October. Everything has sold. So couple of experiments we were talking about how much goods do you guys have you will not sell until you've done 400 but you may have already sold for all I know so 150 we'll say 225 230 to 40 to three something and that's it so that's not a good example um, three people in this household. So 150, 190, 200, and 50. So that doesn't help either. So these guys either have sold or they never had more than their, their share in order to have a year's worth of supply. There is not 300 in there. Okay. So I don't know if they're close enough to sell to these guys I'm starting to think they are so that distance is fine so I don't need to think about another granary group over there so is there anything I can do here to make that last test first of all let's get somebody employed over here again right there and worker and you have onions Let's pull out onions and turn off the take from other granaries and let's turn onions on over here and take from granaries and let's see if we can't get all the onions into this one granary over here temporarily. So onions over there. Yeah, let's, let's load you up so we can get out there and draw them in from all the different granaries there's only two of them okay so get you running let's see if we can get all the onions over there and if that's possible in the next five to ten minutes so i need to see an, an up arrow or down arrow that someone's taking these away and these away need them all up at the other one which is the furthest distance i could possibly expect her to go get onions but I've got to time this right so somebody haul these onions away um, do I have I have enough quantity or enough space onions 1200 yep so how do I make that happen faster I don't know oh, I know how let's cart onions to there and you are the right one, yeah. So let's cart onions to there. All right, so with that, I don't need this one then employed fully. Okay, uh, that tree's done, great. So that works out well. Looks good, little fence. Yeah, that looks good. Does it's not? It doesn't look like um, industry in a in a uh, neighborhood. Perfect. 
hire you and make you empty. And these two ladies will, and then zero you out and zero you out. So all this stuff should start transferring out to that other one. Good. And boom, cart shed. Out of, right out of the ground. <laughs> and you're good. All right, that's happening. You warehouse, get you done. And one person's working here and got milk coming in. So in that case, you, we could get a second person working there again and go just for milk production. Okay. Um, and eventually we need to get the dairy going again. It's probably time to do that. But I needed to know that this happened. Now we have 240 there. We have none there. And we have 86 there. Did this not happen? Let's try that one more time. Onions. You. Move to. Maybe it didn't happen. Was there a, an error? Successfully ordered. Okay. So how quickly can I get that to happen? As soon as it happens, I'll go tell her in the market stall to rush over and pick up some onions. And we'll see if she can at least get the order to do so. So show me a cart on its way. There it is. To go pick those up. And gone. All right. So over here. Can you go get onions? You are going to work. Perfect timing. All right. Speed you up over there. There's two of you. Oh, one of you went over to another place. Okay. Now, you can reach them. All right. Well, that settles that whole issue. The market stalls apparently can grab from wherever the food is stored, no matter the distance. That's the theory I'm now going to be working with. Okay, so with that, we don't need this to happen anymore. You can make empty, and then that'll just go away. And that experiment is done. Otherwise, that last noise was a warehouse is finished. Okay, you can start holding Whoa. Right? You cannot. I built you to store wool. Sheep. Wool. Okay, so wool cannot be stored in a warehouse. It goes directly from... Or, or is it that the sheep are brought over to here and this place makes the wool? I don't know. Where are you? You're right there. You're the tannery. You're the dairy. Let's get the dairy in. We don't need the people right now. Let's get the dairy next time and the tannery and a fulling mill. And we'll then see the whole sheep process get up and running. Tannery, fulling mill next. Tannery last. Okay, exclamation point, let's get you guys going. So lots of carts are going to be happening. More efficiency through the area. And am I done? These got torn down. Need to come up with a new plan for this area. Whatever that's going to be. Uh, keeping you for booze. Uh, right there, keeping you for salt and buckwheat, and there is no more salt. Interesting. So, we have 100 there. Salt in the city? 3,700, so it's just being stored in other places. It apparently is defaulting to here long before it will default to here and i don't know why that is but it's also stored out over here too and there's a bunch of it and it's being used there and other places yeah okay so that's fine and otherwise we need to let me undo this before someone writes in and says you know they're still doing that over there so undo you all this goes away and 
all comes back into here and you are going to be onion and buy from and take from other granaries so you two are the only take from other granaries now and you two no longer are and all this is going to leave and go back into these granaries so that is the central granary now these three until we get further out into the map in which case it's going to be in the middle of this and from there we should be able to reach back to the original market as well as this market and whatever market happens over here and whatever market happens over here and maybe even over here yeah so now I'm I'm questioning this part we center a market over here we'll have to see how far then the reach is for other housing but there shouldn't be a lot of housing in this area anyway except for some row houses to feed the industry yeah okay let's call that one done up 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 what are you? Oh, you're finished. Demolish. Okay. Get rid of you. You are fully, not fully employed. Ladies only. And I'll work, I'll work through that after the episode's over. So thanks for watching, folks. And we'll do this again next time. Bye-bye now.